God bless you, everybody. All right, it is 4.43 a.m. And I am in my car. And I am headed to dialysis. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I went to bed like a room. One... 20, 130. Actually, that's when I went to close my eyes. I don't know what time I actually fell asleep. But um, it's so dark here. There's barely any street lights. So, um, heading to dialysis. Nobody on the road yet. This is not a main road. And, um, unfortunately, I, did a, 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 I thought I was recording <laughs> earlier. And, um, I was showing you, showing the steps of how I, um, prepare my arm for dialysis. But, um, it never recorded. So I just showed you what it looked like after it was all set so um today's friday i just hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day i wish i can show you guys when they're um getting ready to do the needles but i can't um the dialysis center where i go they do not like you to video or take photos but um i told them uh every time they mess up my arm where they put several needles or they have to redo needles i take a picture of it and you know it, it, it's for my safety if they do something wrong i need to have proof so yeah i have recorded well, not recorded. I've taken photos after they were done. And so, um, I'm going to ask my tech if I can record just the arm part of what she's going to do. I'll, I'll ask her. If she says yes, then, you know, maybe I can, um, get that part. But please excuse the language. I have to tell you now. Um, my tech that the tech that I have now, she's awesome. She knows my arm very well. Um, she's she's young and has a loud mouth, <laughs> um, and she says things that I wouldn't say. But then again, that's her. You know, um, that's how she speaks. She speaks her mind, let me tell you. So hopefully, if I do record it and it's something that you wouldn't like to hear or that I wouldn't say, please forgive me. So I will let you go and I'll get back with you when I get to the dialysis center because I don't want you to catch me speeding. Unfortunately, I'm um, kind of late. God bless. I'm just kidding. I won't speed. It's only 4, uh, 447. I have to be there by 5 or 515, so I'm good. And it only takes me probably about, I would say about 20 minutes to get to dialysis. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. I am about to arrive to the dialysis center. And I'm going to show you. This is the place. And there is one patient here. There is one nurse. I'm back. I, I think I must have stopped the recording sooner than I was supposed to. 
All right, right now we have three patients in the parking lot. Actually four now, there's that pickup truck, four. We have one nurse and two techs so far. There should be four techs and a nurse um, here already, but they're not here. Um, usually the nurse comes in and opens and the tech come, one of the techs come and start turning on machines one by one and the computers. Um, sometimes they they come in and, and there's um, water on the floor or something that needs to get cleaned up or fixed before they start. Then they have to, uh, the people that were here the night before should have set up the areas for like with the uh, needles and the tape and the, um, the everything that you need, like the, it's like a little towel that they, blue towel that they put so you can put your arm. Usually they're supposed to set that up, but sometimes they don't set it up. So the nurse got uh, the, um, technician has to see what she's got to do to set up each area <clears throat> so um that's it once I get inside I'm I will ask my technician if she would be okay uh, like if I just record my arm part not her face or anything like that and you know maybe if I ask her and I'll tell her that I wouldn't do her take a put video of her face or something. Maybe she'll probably allow you guys to see when the needles are going in. I, I don't like looking. I always face the other way. Um, but for you guys, I'll look. I am so tired. I'm sleepy. And I'm going to grab my headphones before I forget. Because I'm going to put music and I'm going to sleep as soon as my needles are in and the dialyzer starts. I'm going to sleep and I will sleep for about an hour and a half to two hours. <clears throat> then I automatically wake up after the two hours or hour and a half and um, I'll either turn on my phone to watch a video or something that will, you know, waste my time. And don't say pray, because usually while I'm listening to music, I'm praying. Um, it, it, it just, while you're on the machine and you've got the music, it just elevates you and um, you start praising God. You know, you start, you know, it, it, you may be, I may be doing it in, in my mind in my head because you can't there's people next to you and you can't um there's another patient just arrived yeah you can't um be really loud you know i know that there's a guy that sits a couple of seats down from me uh, he plays his phone because he doesn't he doesn't like using headsets but it's so loud and um I, I know it's it's Christian because he's a, a Christian um, guy, but it's it's a, it's in a it's I think it's in Creole or yeah I think it's in Creole. Um, it doesn't bother me. It's really loud, but um, I know he's praising God as well, and 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 he's into that uh, worshiping time. Um, but I I like to play mine in my ear, so I I bring my. Um, Head, my headphones and listen to my music so I'll get back to you when I'm inside we've got more patients arriving and we still have the two techs and the one nurse and it is 5.07 I'm supposed to be 
in my chair by 515 but that never never happens like that i think i can remember twice where um i've gotten in early um today might it's friday so it, we might have a late start one friday we started close to eight o'clock yeah close to close to eight because there was first a flood inside the building and they were short of tech or it was some type of error where either the somebody didn't get their schedule correct but um we'll see we'll see and <clears throat> i was asked several times by several people why do i drive myself well if you ask some of the patients that come in with transportation uh, companies like right now there's this guy who's just being dropped off and his time to be on the chair is I think at 645 it is 508 they bring him drop him off and he has to wait in the lobby till it's his turn well that guy has to wake up again at about 4 a.m um he's from a nursing home so he wakes up waits for transportation there transportation brings him drops him off here he gets on his machine, um, I would say about 6.45. He's on for four hours, that's 10.45. And actually, it's probably 11 because it takes them 15 minutes to put him on the machine. So he's done at 11. He has to wait till he stops bleeding because uh, once the needles come out, you have to put pre apply pressure and he doesn't apply the pressure they i guess they use the clamps they wait till he stops bleeding they bandage him up they bring him to the waiting room he has to wait for transportation to pick him up by the time transportation picks him up and takes him back to the nursing home it's about 12 30 close to one since four in the morning um my father came to this same dialysis center my father took the transportation and um he actually took the transportation from my house at least twice before he um broke his hip here coming out of dialysis getting into his transportation and um you waste the whole entire well the whole morning and up to afternoon taking these public transportations and um i'm not gonna do that um i come in i uh i worked my way up getting an early shift i used to come in at 10 45 to 11. around that time i would come in 10 45 or 11. And I was getting out at three, two something to three. Um, because I just wouldn't stop bleeding. My blood pressure would drop and I had to stay until at least my blood pressure got to a hundred over whatever it would be. It was hard because they, I would have to take laps around the um, dialysis center inside until my blood pressure went up and you know that's when they started giving me the pill to take every morning so that my blood pressure would normalize or at least come up some and <clears throat> I don't think it works I don't think the blood pressure medication is working 
So um, it's 512. Um, there's the third tech now. And um, I think that's my tech right there. The one that does my arm. So that's why I don't take the transportation. Your entire, all morning is gone. So I worked my way up. Well, I, I can't say I worked my way up because that, that's wrong. Um, unfortunately, people passed. And when somebody passes who has a time that um, it's a time that you would want, you request it, you ask for it. And um, when I went from 1045 or 11 to I think it was 6.45. Um, there was a lady at, in that chair and she passed away. And so um, they gave it to me because it was, she was three hours and 45 minutes and that's what I was doing, three hours and 45 minutes. Um, and then there was a lady who did the 5.15 to 5.30, somewhere around there. They give you a, 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 a slot within 15 minutes. So um, that lady, she had a heart attack and they, were, they did open heart surgery on her. So she was gonna be gone for quite some time. So they gave me her spot which was 5.15 to 5.30. So I took it, but it, it wasn't going to be my normal. So it was just while she was out. But unfortunately, she hasn't come back. It's been months and after two months of you being out, you lose your spot is what they call it. You lose your spot. Um, so she was three hours though. They came and told me that they were giving the spot to someone else, which was um, a young, a younger lady. Younger, I say younger because she's younger than me and younger than the lady that was there. So um, they gave it to her and I, I got really upset because for one, I asked for it and two, I, I thought I was next in line. <clears throat> Not in line, but I thought it would be given to me. I was, at that time I was doing three hours and 30 minutes. The lady was just a three hour time. So they gave that, that time to the young girl that she was three hours. And I, I got upset and I spoke with the head nurse and I told her, hey, I, you know, you, you know, I requested it. So um, she goes, yeah, but um, the patient that comes after that, that um, slot or that chair time comes at around this time and you're three you're 30 you're 15 minutes longer so we would have to have that patient wait an extra 15 minutes so they will be late and they're it's um a patient in in a nursing home as well and transportation business them so they have to get off at a certain time so i was like okay you know i understand so the girl that they put on that chair i guess they swapped her to another chair um, somebody else had passed and they gave her that chair and they gave me back the um, chair that I wanted and they also dropped me to three hours um, and not they didn't drop me the doctor came and did his review his testing and stuff and and dropped me to the three hours so it is I think we have another nurse I mean another tech that came in 
So that would be four. So I'm not even going to move. I'm not even worried about it because I know they're not going to let us in until all four techs have all their machines up and running. But it's 517. Usually I'd be in the waiting room already. But um, it looks like she's still in her car. But um, I've already had you on this video for about 15 minutes and I don't want to bore you. I do want you to watch the video. I don't want you to just see that I made the video and not listen to it or watch it. Um, but that is my reasoning for not having the transportation pick, bring me up, pick me up. Um, I come in. I sit in my chair, close my eyes. By the time I open my eyes, I'm only here. I have like an hour left, sometimes half hour. All depends. I'm only here three hours. Um, And I wait, I check my blood pressure, check my weight. And um, if my blood pressure is low, again, they make me walk. Um. They make me uh, move in where I'm at, like, uh, you know, like um, walking steps in, in the same spot to get my blood pressure up. So those are part of the things that um, I have to do. But um, if I feel bad, if I know, uh, know I can't drive, I will get in my car, I'll sit here for a while, or usually I'll just get in the car, I, I drive off, and if I see that I'm not feeling good, I'll, I'll find somewhere where I can park, like a public parking lot or something like that, any store parking lot, and I'll just sit there. Yeah, I'll call somebody and say, hey, I'm not feeling well, and I, I'll tell them hey, I'm gonna stay in my car until I, I feel better. I, I know the dangers of driving and um, either passing out. So I, I pull over, I find a, a place to park and um, I'm careful. I'm very careful. Um, I'm gonna let you go. The next video should be me getting my needles put in. So. The next step, I go in the waiting room. I wait till they call me. They take my um, temperature. They ask me all the same questions. They will um, tell me to go get weighed. I get weighed. I take the printout to the technician. And then that's where we start the um, process of putting the needles. And I should see you at that process.